Lee Dunlop and his wife are proud of his time in the army, a time before he was struck down by an inherited kidney disease. He's fourth from the right in this picture as his trooper inspected by the Queen. He lost his benefits and won them back again after having one kidney out. Now the Department of Work and Pensions have told him he's got to work, he says he's not capable. It's like I've got the flu. I've got all the symptoms of the flu. I sickness, lethargy, no energy, no ability to get on with things, no stamina, uh, um, discomfort, pain, and just general unpleasantness, really. So in this room you've got... Yeah, my medical supply, so it's about a week's worth of... Uh, Fluid, Lee like says no employer would want him until he's lucky enough to have a kidney transplant. He travels to Bristol three times a week for kidney dialysis and has to hook up at home to a machine all night, every night, so toxins can be flushed out of his system. They're keeping Lee's last job open for him at the Tropicaria Zoo. He was a builder there, but they agree he's not fit for work at the moment. He was one of the hardest workers I've ever known and... The idea of him coming back to work with his current state of illness is just absolutely ridiculous. So he's not a shirker? He's absolutely not a shirker. He's one of the most genuine guys you'll ever meet. His MP is supporting him, and he thinks he's the victim of a draconian system. David Woodland, ITV News, in Willerton.